Hello all, welcome to rotatingnews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we run diagnostic test in Oracle Fusion. So let's understand what is this diagnostic test. The purpose of this diagnostic test is to identify any of the issues if you're there and also validate the configuration or approvals. And how do we run it? You just need to click on your username and then click on troubleshooting. In that, you'll find a link called run diagnostic test. So there are a couple of diagnostic tests which we generally use it. And most prob most of the time we use it for the approval purpose or maybe procurement supplier related uh, configuration purpose or maybe the HCM payroll purposes. And the prerequisite role, what you require to enable this one is one of the role in this one. It can be a diagnostic regular user advanced user or administrator. Now we'll navigate to the <coughs> instance to understand how to run it. So let's understand. I'll just click on my user account. So here you can observe here, in this user account troubleshooting and then click on run diagnostic test. So once you click on run diagnostic test, so it will ask you to identify for which test you want to run this diagnostic test. Now let's say I would like to run it for the invoices one. So I'll just search invoices. And here you can see that the invoice test name is payables list is the test name. And once you find out, once you find the specific test name, you have to select that and click on add to run. And then this particular test is selected for run, but you cannot run the test until unless you provide the primary key information for this one. And it also shows a warning symbol here. Just click on this particular symbol and it opens a pop-up wherein you have to provide the input. So now in the invoice scenario, the input what it requires is the invoice number. So now I'll just try to provide the invoice number, which I already have it. Let me try. If at all, if I can't find this one, I'll just try to provide the other one. Yeah, so I'm unable to find this. I will try to provide the invoice which I have this one. Right, so I'll select this. Click on OK. Click on OK. So now, once you navigate the screen, this got selected. Now simply click on Run It. If you want to run it for later, you can schedule run, but let us say if you want to run Currently, just click on run. So this will get executed and it will show on the list of test runs which are completed earlier also. Just refresh here. You should be able to see the, the one which is running or completed in the top one. This is the top one which we executed just now. Click on this report icon. It opens a pop-up and this shows the initial information of like who ran it, when it ran it and how status and all the information. Then click on this execution ID, which provides the detailed information of your diagnostics. So click on this one. And now it provides detailed information of this particular invoice and also all the data from the specific tables in which the invoice gets hit. So if you can observe here, system tables, financial parameters, business unit table, ledger table, and the approval table also it will show you. Right, so you can observe here, I'll show you the approval table. Yeah, so this is a invoice header, line, distribution, payment schedules, holds, checks. So this is one of the key table of the approval history. So whenever invoice is completed, whenever when you run an invoice for an approval purpose, right? So this is one of the table in which it will have the information about to whom it was sent, when it was approved, when it was rejected, when it was withdrawn, and all the information you can find out from this particular one, and who was the user, and which role it picked off, that also you can find out from this particular table. So now in the invoice scenario, this is how you know you can find the information. Similarly, for the maybe supplier or general ledger, HCM, procurement, many other tests also available. You can just find out that, and you know this is how we can run the diagnostics test, which will help out, you know, like uh, identifying the bugs. And also the scenarios where, you know, like uh, generally Oracle, when you raise a product issue, so you can, re you can 
Oracle suggests this is one of the diagnostic tests to provide the report for this. Okay, thank you.